Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given radical equation by using substitution method. And eventually, we're going to check our answers as well. So let's look at this uh, radical equation. We're going to be using substitution method. So wherever you see this radical sign or square root of x, I'm going to make a substitution. I'm going to say let u equals to square root of x. All right. So wherever you square root, I'm just going to say it's u. Then uh, if you take the u square on both sides, square on both sides, if I you take a square on this side as well, I took the square on both sides. So u square equals to the square and square root, they undo each other, we got u square equal to x. So just keep in your mind that u is going to be square root of x and u square is going to be simply equal to x. Let's plug it back in this given equation and see what happens. So this simply is going to become over here, this simply become 7 times this becomes u plus x is u square minus 18 equal to 0. This looks much like a quadratic equation. Let's put in a descending order. So I'm going to put in a standard form. So let's put u square first. I'm going to put u square plus 7u minus 18 equal to 0. So we're going to factor it out really easily. Let's factor this one out. Just put down two parentheses equal to 0. I want you to just put down u over here and u over here. And next thing is I want you to put this negative 18 on the right hand side on the top of this x factor and this positive 7 at the bottom over here. So let's find the factors of this negative 18. So the possible factors going to be 2 and 9, isn't it? 2 times 9 in 18. So let's fix their sign. So that's going to be a negative 2 plus 9. If you multiply negative 2 and positive 9, you're going to get negative 18. And if you add them, you're going to get positive 7. Let's Fill in the blanks right now over here. This negative 2 and positive 9, I'm going to put down. I'm going to put down negative 2 right up here and positive 9 here. Okay, let's do now, since we have uh, these two factors equal to 0, I can split them up. I can separate them. I'm going to say u minus 2 equal to 0 and this side u plus 9 equal to 0. So that is going to give us u equal to positive 2 and on this side u is going to be equal to negative 9. But we know that u in our case is simply over a square root of x. So I'm going to put down square root of x okay equals to 2 now I want you to take the square on both sides because we want to undo this square. I'm going to just square both sides. So this square root and square, they undo each other. They cancel each other out. So we simply got x equals to 4. And now on this side over here, let's take care of this one over here. Once again, our u is simply square root of x equals to negative 9, isn't it? Let's take care of the, we take the square on both sides over here as well. Square on this side, square on this side. So we just simply got this square and square root undo each other. So we got x equals to positive 81. This is another solution. So x equal to 4 and x equal to 81 are our solutions, but we need to check our answer in the next step. So now we want to check our 
answers. Okay, we got, we know we have a two solution x equal to 4 and x equal to 81. So let's try this first one x equal to 4. Now we're going to check our answer at x equal to 4. So wherever you see x, replace it by 4. So that is going to simply become 7 times square root of 4. And this is simply 4 minus 18. My question is, it is it left hand side equal to the right hand side, which is 0? We know that this is square root of 4 is 2. So 7 times 2 plus 4 minus 18. 14 plus 4 minus 18. Question mark. Is it equal to 0? Of course, the left hand side equal to 0 and the right hand side is 0. My question is, is this statement true? Yes, indeed, this statement is true. That means this, our answer is check. So x equal to 4 is our good answer. Now we're going to check our answer at x equal to 81. Let's plug it in wherever you see x, replace it by 81. So that is going to simply give us 7 times square root of 81 plus 81 minus 18 question mark is it left hand side equal to right hand side we know the square root of 81 is 9 so 7 times 9 plus 81 minus 18 so that's going to become 63 plus 81 minus 18 if you add or subtract that is going to give you 126 and the right hand side is zero. My question is, is this the left hand side equals to right hand side? No, that is not true, that is false. So that means this x equal to 81 is not a good answer. So our good answer is only x equal to four. So thus our only solution turns out to be x equal to four. And finally, here is your assignment. Can you do the very same radical equation by different method? It's called isolation method. Can you solve that method? You can take your time, pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out as well. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.